this wasn't supposed to be a sad video, but um, I'm just emotional, I think. Part two, this is my reason why. I wanted to share my story, my experiences, my reason why I decided to cut all my hair off because God forbid a female cuts her hair off. I was supposed to film this a while ago, but process of moving, moved back to Michigan, and yeah, time just gets away. It has a, it just does that. Time just keeps on moving. <laughs> I get this a lot, but the last week I was in Utah, a guy came up to me at the gym and I had my floral flowers and the question is why? What made you do it? Why'd you cut your hair? How long has it been this short? So here's to answer all the question as to why I did it. When he asked me this, it wasn't out of like ill intent or he wasn't putting me down. He was like, I really like your hair. It's super cool. Why'd you do it? It was people are actually genuinely curious as to why a female would shave all of her hair off. People are genuinely curious. Is there something wrong with her? Is she mentally ill? Does she have cancer? Um, you know, just, it's gotta be one of those, right? Britney Spears moment. So it's none of those reasons. I don't have cancer, thankfully. Um, I knew that if somebody in my family had cancer and you know, needed to cut their hair off, I would be right there with them. That's, I would be right there with them. So I knew, see now I'm gonna get emotional, which is, I don't wanna get emotional. I just wanna explain some things. Um, but always for years, I knew. If anyone in my family like got cancer and had to cut their hair off, I would be right there with them. And I didn't really want that to be a reason why I cut my hair off. So I was like, okay, we need to be in the now because thankfully no one in my family has cancer and had to go through that. So I was like, put that aside. That's not a reason to cut your hair. Um, one thing about me is I've always been a rebel. Rules to me, not laws, <laughs> rules are meant to be broken. I don't like rules, I don't like cages, I don't like to be put in a box. I do not like that. I really have always been that way since, since I can remember, you know, not a, I wasn't a naughty kid, but it was that, that adrenaline rush of maybe like either not intentionally breaking something, but maybe like telling like a little white lie, um, sneaking out of the house. I wasn't allowed to date in high school. So to me, there was always like, I was scheming, always a rule breaker, always, I'm a middle child, I'm a rebel, I'm the daredevil and yeah, just always been that way. Wasn't a, a Britney mo moment. I can see where she probably felt that, like society, Hollywood put her into this box of this is who you are, this is what we expect from you, this is who you should be. And she said, no, you don't know me. You think you know me, but you don't. And putting me up here and in this box is only going to make me rebel against that. So I can, I can understand, maybe it was a Britney moment, a Britney moment, but yeah, for me, an MJ moment, it was a breaking from societal norms moment, an MJ moment, a rebel moment, an I don't give a fuck what anyone thinks moment, a you thought you knew me moment, but you didn't. Unless you really actually didn't know me, but it's very few. That's, let's just round it up to like 
10 people max. Families, friends, family members, friends, close friends, super close friends, siblings. Yeah, you have this perception of me, but you thought life likes to do that. A big you fucking thought. You really thought some thoughts about me, about life, about what it's supposed to be. But it's cute. You, you really thought. It's great. Life is just funny like that. Also, to me, it was like a queen moment. Um, the beauty standards of the United States and just female beauty standards. Um, never been a fan of them. The lip fillers, the eyelashes, the hair extensions, the implants, the, the Bra Brazilian butt lifts, the tummy, like, if, if that's what you love, then I'm all for it. Whatever makes you happy in this life, um, whatever makes you feel beautiful, confident, you walk out that door and you fucking own, you know, whatever makes you happy, I am about. But for me, it was, I don't need my hair to feel beautiful. I've got just, you know what I mean? Like, what's what's this <laughs> no so for me that was a big convincing point um the the line of work that i was in at the moment which i currently still am in we'll see if i go to work tonight they fire me <laughs> they probably won't but um no just the pandemic was like i know it was eye-opening for a lot of us we had some like spiritual growth, some inner work. We got to like really hang out with ourselves and get to know ourselves at like a deeper level, no distractions. Um, you know, you're inside and you really like had to hang out with yourself and be like, what do I want in this life? Who am I in this life? Like, what do I stand for kind of thing? So um, the pandemic was big for me and I know it was big for a lot of people. Yeah, but my line of work, we kind of had to like run by our new looks like, hey, are you going to like style your hair differently? So I knew this was a big, you know, hell no. So that was my opportunity to do it. And so I did it. April of 2021, 20, 2020. I don't know. It's been like a year and a half. So. so the guy at the gym, he came up to me. Hey, I like your hair. It was super sweet. Why Why'd you do it? What made you do it? How long has it been short? I'm like, we're at the gym, you know what I mean? You keep your answer short and sweet. And I said, it's been like this, you know, for a little over a year, but thank you, I appreciate it. And yeah, I've just always wanted to do it, which is true. I've always wanted to do it. Um, if I can pull up some photos of when I was a little girl, oof. <laughs> it's just always been in me to do it. Um, I had super short hair. I used to wear like bandanas and stuff. And as a kid, you know, you don't know what the world's up to. You are in your hometown, you hang out with your little soccer team and then you, you go eat dinner with your family and like, that's your life. You aren't aware, especially in the nineties, like I'm 93. So we didn't have social media growing up. We didn't know what else was really out there. Um, look wise, inspiration wise. So, um, I didn't know and I always had wanted my hair short always as little so I had short hair like I will post these photos on my Instagram soon like the brother my sister always wanted but we do have a brother <laughs> just brothers times two I mean even me saying that is stupid because having short hair doesn't imply that you're masculine I mean look at this face these nails I did have it short as a kid like by my ears I don't think my mom really ever allowed it past like maybe it like covered my ears a little bit all right moving forward high school college years I never wore it down I hated curling it I hated blow drying it I hated styling it I just did not like it touching my face I, I like a fidgety I'm like a nervous like I'd always like play with my hair and I always twist it and like 
these hairs back here were always like so coarse because I would just sit in class and like just play with my hair and it was like this like nervous like distraction that I did um and it was always my hair and then I just like would break out right here because I'm just always touching it so high school college I was big into sports volleyball um basketball like just an athlete so I just I'd always wear sweatpants sweatshirts um had my hair pulled back in a ponytail a bun braids it was always pulled back it was always pulled back I never kept any hang no I just I don't know I think I tried forcing myself to style it at one point I was like M all these girls out here are like you got their hair down it's by their face they wear they wear it in curls and they got extensions and they have bangs and it's just like you know and I, I really tried to force myself to have this kind of hairstyle for for a long time like high school college college same thing sports wore my hair pulled back we had practice every day we had games it was always done it was always in a braid braids I got really good at braiding my hair as I just I and I always slicked it back in a headband so it was always in a headband and braids and yeah even the, when time came around to go out to have fun to be social you know to you know put my girly clothes on I would do my makeup I'd get all ready and then I'd like look in the mirror and I'd be like what are we gonna do with the hair bun high pony I, I never wanted the hair extensions I never wanted to have fake hair in so it just it, it like thinned out like it always I always pulled it back and then that was it that was my style it was like not even a style people would always be like my my parents are just my mom we, we joke she just would be like it was it like not homely but like just like little girl on the prairie just long brown basic ass hair didn't really do it so i just felt like you know like there was more to the hair um styling wise than what i was doing and what i was not doing to it so that was a big thing for me and even out of college i was like okay there's no reason for you to have your hair pulled back because you're not playing sports right now you know like you're going to the gym and stuff but what about other things you know like modeling and stuff for photo shoots I wore my hair down but I would just be like get it off like when the photo shoot was done it would go up off my back I didn't like product on my back and no okay so then after college I got into what I'm doing now which is like modeling um all the girls had their hair down curls we had to get done up and i i could slay the makeup but when it came time to do my hair i just was like what can i do like a high ponytail you know a sock bun like a knot bun i just i never wore it down i hated it down i just play with it it would just i just didn't like it I didn't like doing it. I didn't like the way it looked, the, it, the way it felt. And I would just see all the girls just wearing their hair down. I'm like, there's something wrong with me. <laughs> but there's not, there's not something wrong with me. I love when girls have long hair though, for real. Like it's gorgeous. So then some years went by and um, I started seeing girls with like pixie cuts. Obviously we all know Amber Rose, um, just, an angel a goddess queen from sent from above um so i was like wow but like you know with her she's got like some work done in her face so her face was just like solid you know she's got a solid face she could just be skin bald and you know just rock it for me i just never liked messing with my face lip injections botox haven't dabbled with it i don't know if i'm going to or not but I just have never really been like wanting to. Um, so I did see a lot of girls like Amber Rose with buzz cuts, lots of pixies. And I'm just like, wow, like that is just, 
it's got to be so freeing you know windows down in the summer your hair, like I hate it I always love my windows down in the summer but I hated when my hair would like stick to my makeup and like stick to like the sides of my my face and like windows up I really can't have nice things out here because my fucking hair this dumb right um so I see, I just saved photos of girls with pixie cuts, buzz cuts. There wasn't a ton of buzz cuts at the time, but I know it's getting really popular right now, which I love. Let's go, ladies. <laughs> we don't need long hair to look and feel beautiful. If anything, I've been feeling like my most feminine self, um, but we're gonna get into that a little bit later. But yeah, I always, I always save these photos. I'm like, yo, I could rock that. I really could. For years, I did that. I'd like pull my hair back and I'd be like, you know, trying to get like the circumference of my, like would my head be ugly? What if I have like a huge like egg head? Like what's underneath? That's one thing that is crazy to me is my whole body, I've seen it. I've seen it, right? What's going on? here I thought that was so weird I was like I've never seen my scalp and I knew I had a birthmark right here just like it would come out just like it's right on my hairline I was like how far does this birthmark go does it take up like my whole head I knew it didn't take up my whole head because I could see it like on my scalp but I was like how far up does it go it's like I need to see it I can't live my life not seeing every inch of my skin. Weird, right? It needed to be done. I needed to cut it off. I need, I, the curiosity was killing me. <sighs> Years of convincing. Got to a point where I was like kind of being mean to myself. And I, I got to a really weird point, which I'm not gonna cry. I was like being mean to myself because that's how I am. I'm just like so hard headed. And like, I tell myself, like, if you can't do it, like, who are you? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck, what the fuck are you? You aren't strong enough. You don't got the balls to do this shit. Like, I know I don't got balls, but like pussy up right? because <laughs> pussies are strong and we go through a lot. And it makes me sad. Because I really, I think this was like the breaking point for me. Like I told myself that I could not have a daughter. I could not have a daughter. I could not have a child if I could, did not do this. Because how are you going to lie to your kid's face? Lie to your daughter's face and say you can do anything in this life and you don't have to be scared like it can be like scary but it's it's really gonna be okay you know and i like, got to my got to a point where I, I like would imagine myself talking to my daughter right and she's like mom i want to have pink hair i want to you know, just wear silly shit or just like style, fashion. I want to like be different, you know? I want to go outside of the box of like what is normal for women, for society. Um, like mom, yeah, I want, I want to do this. Like how am I going to like look at her and say, you can do this. Like you can do anything you want in this life, you know, like it's gonna be okay. Like, don't be scared. It's, you know, it might seem scary, but it really isn't, you know? 
once you do it, you're like, why did this take so long? So, I was like talking magic to myself during the pandemic. I was, um, just kind of like, yeah, you're pretty much, you're weak, you know, you're, if you can't do this, like, it was like eating me alive, like, I mentally just was like, if you can't do this, you're just, this is like a pussy ass bitch, and I'm like, you are not that way, so fucking just do it, like, it was like a daily thing for me. And then finally, during the pandemic, I was just like, I have to do this shit. So. And yeah, the daughter thing, imagining talking to my daughter and being like, yo, I actually wanted to shave my head at one point in my life and I never did it. No. Giving birth seems scary to me. Like, I can't watch movies where females are giving birth because I'm like, oh God. <laughs> like, ouch. <laughs> but. I was like, no, you can literally do anything. Um, so just do it. How are you gonna have a daughter one day and tell her she can do anything in this life and to not care about what anyone thinks? That's an another thing. It's really about like, yeah, you really think like, oh, well, well, what if I'm ugly? What if I regret it? Like if any regret is gonna be taking place, it's gonna be the fact that you didn't do something. It's, you will regret not trying something and not doing something rather than, Okay, I did it, I tried it, I experienced it. Okay, maybe not for me. Keep it moving, kind of thing. So, so yeah, the whole daughter thing, I imagine talking to my daughter, telling her, you can do anything. Fuck what anyone else thinks, for real. We're all just trying to figure this shit out. We're try just trying to do the best we can with the knowledge that we were given. We only know what we were taught. And they, the people who taught us, only know what they were taught. Who is teaching us this trash about society, about what's feminine, what's masculine, what's what's right, what's wrong, um, who to be sexually attracted to? I can't. You can't be gay. You can't be. You can't be this. Who who is making these rules? And yeah, you can go religious with it, Bible, Bible bullshit, but God made us. If you're a believer, God made me perfectly in his eye, out of his image. And if I'm attracted to X, Y, Z, I should be able, like, I didn't choose to have those feelings. Those are my feelings. That's how I was made. It's fucking weird. So yeah, I said that, you know, I've always been a rebel, always kind of grew up. Rules are meant to be broken. Norms are supposed to be challenged. You're supposed to be married at this age. You're supposed to be, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be, fuck off. Like, you're supposed to shut the fuck up. Like, you don't, no, we're not supposed to be doing anything. We're supposed to be doing what makes us happy, what feeds us, what inspires us, what like creates that fire in our belly. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Those societal pressures and norms, like, Fuck, if I'm single till forever, then I'm single till forever. I've got, there's animals. I love animals so much. Like if I just got a dog, my family, my friends, I'm, I'm Gucci. Like you're supposed to have a nine to five job. Mm, no, I actually, I actually think that that's just the government trying to control the hamster wheel of society. Keep them in, keep them in check, keep them busy, keep them, with their blinders on so they don't like get curious so they don't know 
I didn't, I've always hated the cookie cutter life. I've always wanted to move out of state. I looked for colleges to play volleyball in California. I've always been creative. Artists really don't live a very um, cookie cutter life. They don't look cookie cutter. They don't act cookie cutter. They don't speak cookie cutter. They definitely don't have a profession that's cookie cutter. So um, that's just me. That's just kind of who I am. Um, I've always been attracted to unique people, people who stand out, people who are different, people who don't fit in. Like, yo. <laughs> I've seen some shit. I went from living in Miami to being the different one to going to Utah to also being the different one because of like Mormons and religion. Yo, people would just stare at me. It's hilarious. And then I go back to Grand Rapids, Michigan, where I'm from. I love it. I used to talk mad shit about it, but going back there the past two weeks, it kind of reminded me why I talked a little shit because, oh, I love you ladies. I really do. I love the girls, but like it was the mom denim jeans with a little tank top and the long blonde hair. You guys look, you, feel, you really look fabulous. You do, cute. But I can't remember. I just remember the cookie cutter. I cannot remember a single face. You just all blend in. Hmm. I don't, I don't like that. I really don't like that. But hopefully, you know, people learn grow, realize what they like, what they don't like, how they want to like present themselves to the world, be like, hello, this is me, accept me, or don't. That's on you. That's not on me, because I accept me. That's it. Um, I've always been attracted to unique people, just like, you're different, you know? And I love that. I just love those kind of people. And I want to be around more of those people that you know, think outside of the box, are open-minded, um, not brainwashed. A lot of y'all are brainwashed out here. <laughs> and after what we just went through with the pandemic, and we're not even, I'm not even going to get into all that because, like, I don't really mess with politics and, like, shit like that, but have your own thoughts. You are a human being on this massive floating rock in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> what? Just, I really hope like you have these thoughts, these ideas, and you execute because they were planted in you for a reason. They were planted in your heart, they were planted in your soul, they were planted in your mind to be executed, to be different, to change the way we think because if we try to figure out, if we try to change the way we think, we could make some probably like some serious good change, you know? And it's, we've had a lot of good change. I feel like we've accepted people, but we look back in the past and we're like, we've come a long way, but man, we've got a long way to go. And it doesn't help to be brainwashed. So I really hope that you have your own ideas, you have your own thoughts, and you really think for yourself. You know, being influenced is good, and if there's good way, health, um, fitness, healthy eating, healthy habits. But, you know, the media, just keep it at a minimum. But that's just like, I'm getting off track. I almost got this tattoo on me, Romans 12 too. Do not conform to the society of this world or something, but be removed. Rem Do not conform to the society of this world. Do not conform to the society of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind or some shit like that. I, I almost got that. That was almost my first tattoo. I've only got one, it's right here. But I almost got that shit tattered right here on the back of my neck, Romans 12 too. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Do not conform to the society of this world or the, the norm of the society, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It like went along this, 
the lines of that. And then I didn't get it because I thought tattoos were conforming to society. So I didn't end up getting it because I thought it was contradicting as fuck. <laughs> uh, so I think it was just instilled in me to do some weird shit. Weird. Cutting my hair off. Hair. We shave our armpits. Some of us do. Some of us don't. We shave our legs. Some of us do. Some of us don't. Women are supposed to be bald. Bald, 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 bald. No, not bald. Only bald. In bald. In bald. In bald. But not bald. Who makes, who's making these rules? Why are we listening to them? Hair's always been kind of just weird to me. Now that I have short hair, I like look at long hair and I'm like, I kind of love, so I really like dreads. I think dreads are super fun. I like them. And they, when they're like, they look nice and, you know, clean and stuff. But like the long stringy hair, it's, it's just, now that I have short hair, it's, it's kind of a weird concept growing your hair out. But I'm about to grow my hair out um, to stay warm because winter is coming and we can't be out here skin bald and I don't look great in beanies but um yeah and then I just wanted to say it hasn't been easy I've been questioned multiple times my sexuality I don't like my my sexuality being questioned but I guess it's way better to be accused of being gay as a female than it is a male because girls kissing girls is cool but I just don't like it I don't like my sexuality questioned because I'm unfortunately very straight unfortunately I am attracted to to men um but yeah I've been questioned my sexuality people think I'm bisexual people think I'm gay because I have short hair, whatever, I look gay, I maybe sound gay, whatever, I don't fucking know, but um, I'm not, and wish I was, but unfortunately I'm not. Um, I've been called trans. Why, because I don't pump my lips with filler, because I don't wear massive eyelashes, because I don't have hair, because I have a fucking Yo, yes, jawline, because I don't have big titties, because I like to work out. <laughs> People, the audacity. People really out here saying some dumb shit. Do not listen to these. <laughs> That's why I stay inside. Cause whatever's going on out there not a fan so yeah I've been questioning my sexuality multiple times close friends randoms been called trans um been called a guy like literally last weekend no you just have never been in the presence of a queen of a goddess What's it like? Are you gay? Why, cause I'm, you think I'm a guy? Cause I have short hair? That's stupid, that's stupid. Um, so it hasn't been easy, it hasn't been an easy journey. It was needed, it was very needed. I needed to do it, it happened. I've done it, I did it. And I did it like really well, I have to say. Like, I didn't just do it and then grow my shit back out. I did it and I like rock that shit. And I really appreciate the love and support that everyone's given me doing it. I know people probably think like, oh, your hair is way better shorter than long. And I'm like, you know, you're, you're talking, you're not, you're not lying, but um, no, I really appreciate the love and support that people have given me because that, you know, makes me feel well. I'm a Leo. 
I unfortunately run off compliments. <laughs> We're working on that though. That's something I'm, I'm just trying to have self validation, self acceptance. No external validation, no external acceptance because then you start accepting those negative comments and those don't matter. But, um, Oh, yeah, I, I appreciate the love and support and the compliments. Thank you. Um, the journey was, it was longer than I expected it to be. I'm happy I did it. I'm on to the next fear. I, there's another fear in my, it's not even a fear, it's something I need to overcome. It's the next challenge. And you should always be challenging yourself and you should always be putting yourself in uncomfortable situations because that's where you grow. That's where you evolve. That's where you change. Like I've changed so much. It was crazy. Like I can't imagine how much I'm going to change in the next year, two years, five years, 10 years. Like I'll be a, just like a whole new person. Um, so yeah, it was, a, it was a journey. It was needed. And I'm so happy that I did it. No regrets. I would have had major regrets if I never had done it, but I feel like it was always going to be something that I did, and I did it. Bucket list. Buzz cut. Buzz cut, Daddy. <laughs> it was a journey. Some ups, some downs. <clears throat> I really started looking at myself in the mirror like, I'm ready to step in my most feminine self. Date. Find me a husband, have some children, um, be relaxed, receive, soft. And I do feel that hair, growing your hair out is, you know, energy, it's growth, obviously it's growth. Um, and yeah, you're just, you're doing your day and your hair is just growing and you're doing your shit and your hair is just growing and that's yeah that's probably gonna be my next chapter is i'm gonna grow my hair out this winter um my sister's getting married in march um i'd really love everyone knows miley cyrus but i really want like a miley cyrus like blonde platinum like bob but it was a good journey it was liberating feels amazing Windows down, no fucks given. <laughs> I think what it's taught me is that I can literally do anything in this life. I just gotta do it. Like you have, I give you permission and it's gonna be okay. You're gonna realize like, well, why was I stressing? You know? Take that, just that leap. You just never know where it's gonna take you. And it's gonna be good. Um, but goodbye to the buzz cut. to the buzz cut yeah I just I, I don't that's it is really cool it's bold um, but I'm gonna grow it out now so thank you for being on this like hair journey I know a lot of you guys wanted to see me with the zero skin bald no br eyebrows yada yada I'm, I'm done buzzing it um, gonna let it grow so thank you for being on this journey with me if you were here just for my hair stay for the workouts I got lots of health mindset wellness holistic hippie um, fitness shit coming your way so that is my next chapter 
and yeah thank you for following this hair journey with me and one for the books see you next time